bit chilly. Let's go inside. Cheers. Okay, the summer is turning to its end here in Finland and we are preparing for the long dark winter and that's why I decided today taking a project that's uh, one of my favorites and maybe the most best-selling item I've, I've had. A candle holder, what I call an overhand knot candle holder. Let's take a closer look. So I'll be showing you the process of doing them here and uh, I've opened a coffee shop also where you can buy me a cup of coffee and we'll be going over some more detailed plans and, and maybe sharing some some uh, tips and tricks and uh, and so so on and so forth so uh, if you're interested in, in uh, supporting these videos please visit the coffee shop you'll see the address somewhere here and buy me a cup of coffee and get access to the special videos there but let's start with the candle holder here. Cheers! Okay, so what we need is your candle holder Some uh, steel wire, or yes, some steel wire. Uh, that's uh, three millimeters wire, uh, about one meter in length. That's three feet plus. Two fathoms of rope. Actually, that's uh, two times about four feet should be enough. Tools. And that's about it. So, so we'll start by forming a loop. The wire. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
and cut away the straight end. Make sure that you have a nice tight fit. Okay, then I usually I straighten the wire as straight as possible. It's just somewhat easier in the, in the future. Yes. the rope. It should be about need about one span for the not in this end. We are taking two pieces for one candle holder. The reason is that when you are laying the rope around the wire here, in order to keep the nice lay for the rope, it forms a small gap here. And we're filling that gap with the fourth strand. them together the leg wouldn't be so nice and it easily opens back so we take the first rope leave about span for the knot and simply Place 
is it? you have a very stubborn rope that opens the lay easily. I usually I starch the rope in that case. And I sometimes I, I show you in a coffee shop how to starch a rope. This one's a good rope so it doesn't One is uh, this jute rope. You know, I use this one, but you can use any any kind of rope you like. I recommend using natural fiber, hemp, jute, flax. Okay, and we'll make a stopper knot here. It could be whatever kind of stopper knot you you fancy. We'll do. Let's say a mind rock knot here. Making a wall.
see this rope is quite hairy. So if you like, you can burn away the hair.
natural fiber rope gives nice friction so everything holds in place nicer than maybe in polyester or, or in worst case nylon. Okay, now we are ready to Flat. Nice. 